Welcome back to the channel everybody. Uh, I have to apologize. I'm just getting over a cold. My voice is still a little rough, but this is real. I'm a one-man show and like they say the show must go on. We are doing brisket today, but I'm going to do an experiment. I've got several experiments I'm going to be doing with briskets over the next couple months, but today we're going to take brine, which I've already made, which is a just water and salt solution, 7%, which is one kilo of water to 70 grams of salt. And we're gonna take this and inject it into the brisket with this guy. I'm gonna see what it does. I have some ideas on how much extra juicy it's gonna be, but I don't know. And uh, let's just get to it and start injecting the brine. I trimmed it like I normally do, nothing crazy, uh, so it looks good. So what we're going to do, take this, and you will see there is liquid. And what we're going to do, probably every inch or so, just systematically in like a grid pattern just put some in and uh, away we go and you will see some come out not all of it will stay in I really think the flat end will benefit the most because it's uh, the narrow or the thin side. Okay, we're done. You see, there is some liquid here. Uh, that's always going to happen when you're doing this. Uh, the rest of the brine I'm not going to keep because I had raw meat into that, so I will dump that. Anyways, I'm just going to get rid of some of this liquid and then we're going to still use the rub, my salt, garlic, pepper, and ancho chili mix. Love it. Here we go. And I don't need to add anything because there's quite a bit of actual liquid still on the outside, so that's going to help hold everything. There we go, that looks good. I've got the smoker started already, so let's go outside and uh, put this in the smoker. Yes, welcome outside, smoker's going. I don't know if you noticed, but since I'm not using the grill top today, I put some wood on top of that, and it's a great way to preheat the wood. Just a little tip. And I put it here, boom. We are going to put the point end towards the hotter side. And then the flat end is going to be on the cooler side, which usually works quite well. There we go. And uh, in. So I'm going to do everything normal, what I, or how I cook a brisket. I'm going to come back in a couple hours, check on it just to make, make sure it's going well. Keep that fire between 225 and 250. All my normal things. And then when I get up to about 170, 180, take it off, wrap it, put some tallow on, and then back on to bring it up to that 201 to 205. Let it rest. So I want to keep everything the same that way and just want to see how much this brine actually helps make it juicier. I kind of made an executive decision and I uh, let it go for four hours and we're at the four hour mark now and we're going to take the first look and see where we're at. <laughs> Woo! Mm, looking beautiful. 
Still got a long way to go. Uh, so here we go. Sorry, I did take the temperature and it's at 139 Fahrenheit right now. So I still got a ways to go. But that's the, the brisket game for you. Okay. It's finally wrapping time. It's been on for seven hours so far. Looks beautiful. And let's get to it. For me, it's looking great. So let's just not waste any time. And this is always tricky when it's windy. Oh, empty. Perfect. Put you there. I had some tallow I snuck into the smoker as well. Be quite liberal with this. Don't be shy. There we go. It's beautiful. And uh, next time you see me, it's going to be inside and we're going to slice it up. Okay. That's always the longest hour. Uh, so total cook time is like nine hours. And let's just dive in. But I want to do one thing. This cutting board, funny little story. I'm going to just tell you real quick. My brother and his kids were over at my mom's place for Christmas. And my brother does woodworking and different things and makes spatulas. And I said to him, do you make cutting boards? Because I want to buy one if you do for my channel. And he, and he was like hemming and hawing. And so we do presents after. And uh, needless to say, this is what I got. So thanks to my brother. I will put his link below. I'm not sponsored. But I got to share this. It's, uh, it's awesome. I love using it. And I'll use it more. And the link will be below. And now to the brisket. Ah, beautiful. Oh, look at that jiggle. So I know it's going to be good and tender. Ah, smells so good. Now I'm really excited to when I cut this and see how juicy it is inside. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little nervous. Hopefully it actually, excuse me, made a difference. But uh, let's find out. Got the big knife, I'm ready. Let's do this. Woo! That is very juicy. So, do the test. Yes. Oh, look at that. Pulls just apart. Oh. That's really good. Mm. So, I think definitely that brine helped. It's uh, also added to the flavor a bit because you had that salt in the brine. It's not too salty. That's why you always measure your, your salt out to the water to have it consistent, but it's good. Nice, nice bark, nice smoke ring. Totally acceptable. No, actually a great brisket. I'm very happy with how it turned out. And now I gotta go dive in. So this little experiment, I think went very well. Uh, I will keep this in my back pocket for things to do if I ever need to but Cooking it I cooked it exactly the same way like I normally do Great color on it. Like I said, it looks good tastes great nice and juicy Nice and tender. That's what you want uh, I'm really happy and uh, guys, thanks for watching. I will be doing more experiments with briskets. So in the coming months, like I said, uh, watch out for those. And hopefully my voice is better and the cold is gone. But there, I got to do what I got to do. 
Thanks for watching and happy eating everybody.